<laughs> peacocks. Peacocks, guys. Look, there's a white one. <laughs> Not about jumbo band, though. Yes, for the male and the female. Oh, look, so the next one. Eh? There's really a whole farm with exotic birds. Let them must my start them. <laughs> oh, some more they open a tree to you know. Look at the peacocks roof um roosting. Yeah. They literally just a wake up. So beautiful, look him have a fly you now. They're right there so he's about to fly. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. You know, I hope you like I hope you guys um enjoyed that little nature video of the birds. You know, I hope you guys love animals as much as I do. I really love animals guys. Um I love nature. I really just in touch with the whole we or the earth a variety of different species and all of that you know it, it fascinates me all right anyways to the video now um, i'm gonna talk about the elements in this morning and we have to talk about the fact say we have them talk about five elements most of the time them right them um four elements which is uh earth water fire and air those are the four major elements but then they talk about a fifth one which is spirit and the spirit is an element and spirit is really an element and that's the element to more of the talk about really today the element of spirit so you understand say throughout my observation in my life I realize say, you know each one of the elements them each one of the four elements them yes they can exist and they vibrate at a certain frequency but then the frequency that they vibrate in um, in their natural state is really and truly not supported by their you know they don't really support themselves hundred percent you understand say spirit spirit ether ether you know ether is spirit you get what I say them call it ether too the, the element of ether which is spirit right you find the spirit of actually inner the thing if it actually have motion if it actually move you get what I say and then call black people here ether too so you find say the, that's the energy that are the divine force which is spirit that it keep everything moving so you find say even though the ear is an element by itself when the spirit is present in the ear you find that the ear starts to uh, so you get the wind you get what I say? you understand what I say? so you get the wind alright fire check the, check the um, levels with fire now you have a flame if you stifle the flame you know it means that you take out all of the um, spirit out of it it means that the fire can't breathe the fire becomes unconscious and the fire go out it's the same like you which is why my ex um, my fucking um, I talk, I stress the fact of uh, meditation and deep breathing so much. We need to take in the element of spirit when we breathe, when we take deep breaths, the element of spirit goes through the lungs and permeates through the body. It's consciousness, you get what I say? So take deep breaths guys, you know, a lot of us have anxiety problems and we like to hold the breath and like to, you know, <laughs> anticipate the outcome of a situation and we're hurting ourselves. So relax man, relax, watch your eyes and fall in your stomach and you know, sometimes you just hold your stomach, no matter how big it gets. Take in as much air as you can, you know, and then you just let it out and find how calm that, you know, just <sighs> Look how calming that is guys, you know, just repeat that for like maybe a hundred times And you find the idea better, anyways So may I prove now with the whole element of spirit You know, the element of spirit is needed to get everything going So you find, say, you have, you have stagnant water, it's not that the water is dead, you know The water is stagnant because there is no spirit present in it you get what I say? So the spirit is not present in the thing, you find it motionless, it not really got no motion, it not have no rhythm, it not got no movement really a go on that, that much. You get what I say? So you find say what separates stagnant waters, what separates lakes when they really move that much, is the amount of spirit element actually where the, where the body com, um, comprises of. You know? Where the body encompasses, the amount of spirit element that is present in the um, other elements. That's what cause the motion for behave a certain type of way that's what causes it to um, move and behave different ways you get the message because if you check the ocean you, check, you realize that the ocean is a very active force because a lot of spirit element is in the ocean but to check a, 
uh, a water body like a pond or a lake, you find that there is not much movement in those water bodies. Eh? You never question that and say, wait, what, what, what is the difference between that? Yeah, that's the difference between water bodies and if rain falls, you find a puddle, a puddle right here. The puddle will not be moving like how you see the ocean move or, you, <laughs> or, or like how you see the rivers move. You get what I'm saying? No, it will not move that way because there is no, there is not a lot of spirit element um, in the water yet. So you find that the spirit element over time, you know, you have a cultivated spiritual energy, same like human beings. You know, you're not just born and just spiritual. So you <laughs> get what I'm saying? It takes time and it takes effort. So a yeah, man has been saying the fire. If you stifle the fire, the fire go out. If you stifle a human being, a human being is gonna pass out. If you, if there is no spirit element in the water, meaning it is stifled of the spirit element, the water stagnant, the water now move. You hear the I say? If there is no spirit element in the air, the air just stand still. The air, there is no, there will be no wind. So the wind, the, the, the spirit element is what causes the air to move. The spirit, you know, causes the wind to blow, and all of that. Yeah, and. Yeah man, so that's about um, the fifth element spirit and you find the melanated being, beings, that's why we call our ear ether because the energy, you know, the spirit element is flowing through our vessel which is what cause, causes our ether to curl and coil because there is movement and spirit moves in a spiral motion that's why it's called spirit, to spur, to spiral you get to me I say? and that's why you see whirlwinds most natural disasters, they come in a, like whirlwinds and like in a circular form, hurricanes, check it Tornadoes, yeah, it's, it's a spiral motion, it's a spirit, it's a spirit element, you know, the spirit element is strong, so it calls it a spiral. You get to me, I say that's the strongest um, movement in the earth, um, in the universe, the strongest um, path for travel is in a spiral, and that's how most things move, whether you're conscious of it fit or not, that's how most beings move throughout, throughout life. Them grow in a spiral, trees grow in a spiral. We grow in a spiral, you get the message if you slow down the growth of a plant, you realize it grow in a spiral motion. This is the way it do. The planets move in a spiral motion. So it, it only makes sense the black people who are the most connected to the universe who here have a spiral. So don't call it kinky. At the spirit we are moving through it, make it a spiral. You know, at the spirit element, at the electricity, we are going through it, make it a spiral. You get it? So when you are straight out here, you know, you are kill the electricity. You see it? So stop. You know, me can't tell enough to stop doing nothing still, you know, you know? And me only hurt myself if me go try to tell enough to stop doing this and stop doing that. So, you know, to each his own and take this with a grain of salt. And just, if it resonates today, it resonates today. If not, you know, just move along, you know, this channel is just not for you. But if it resonates, it resonates, you know. Give thanks to join the YouTube channel and, yeah, that's about the spirit element, as me just say, you know. Even a black people here, that's why they call it ether. And you find, say, other beings here, you know, really, have the quality like our oh, ear if you stand up, if you stick up and you know exalt the sun because there is no energy, the energy not really move through it or the amount of energy is not passing through as much as we because everybody has the spirit element every single thing as I say even the stagnant water still have some spirit element present but the amount is what causes the amount of movement when you see the movement that, that, that really that's a real way how you test the amount, the amount of spirit in an object the way you see the movement are going. You get to me I say? So like the ocean, you realize the ocean have a lot of spirit element in it. You realize the melanated people have a lot of spirit element in them, which is why we hear coil and kink and form dreadlocks and some something to create a stronger electromagnetic field for us so we can communicate with the cosmos better, you know, and more efficiently. And then you have other beings now, it's not that spirit is not in them, but we have a, we have more, we are more spiritual beings than them. They are more physical than spiritual, that's it. They still have spirit and they have a spiritual connection too and they can connect and be psychic and everything but we can just do it better you know we have a stronger connection and we can do the spiritual things then better and connect to spirituality better you get to me I say so yeah black people don't feel weird man don't feel like say you are an outcast and you know, if you get called to do your spiritual work just do it you know believe me or you are going to just be depressed and some people maybe I wonder why am I do this on the internet because if I don't do this, I'll be depressed. It's what my soul wants me to do, you know. And a lot of people in our life, they're very upset and sad up till this day because the spirit call them. The spirit always a call and them ignore their calling and things to them for go work money, work nine to five jobs or stay with partners just for financial support where they don't like the person and just for financial support and looking good or looking successful, you know, they ignore the calling of their spirit and take on the part of materiality which nothing is wrong with anyways, you know, I'm not really care <laughs> to each his own, but you know, if you get the call and you see it would have be wise of you just answer the call and 
get on for your spiritual journey. You get me? So you have to do it anyways. If you don't do it in this lifetime, you have to go incarnate and do it anyways. Any, you know, you have to go do it. So no matter, you can't escape it. You know, if you escape it in this lifetime, you're gonna have to come back to do it. Evolution is the key. You know, evolution is the purpose of life. If you're not evolved, if you're not get enlightened, it don't really make no sense. So you have to just come back for that purpose there, cause that's your true purpose. That's the true purpose of your soul. <laughs> you get me? I say. So yeah, man, and time no matter for the soul. You know, me I tell you, cause the soul. Time fluid, so it no matter if, if it are just incarnate again and then you have to go through the physical struggles and yeah, it no really care, me I tell you the truth, cause time no really exists for you, it kind of sounds fucked up but as I still. So if you know the way you need to do now, you just come back and spirit no care cause time no matter to it. <laughs> you know, time no really exists to it, you have to go there and things like that, go through time and some something so you know, I don't really like incarnate in a physical form, me I tell you the truth, it's it not a very um, comfortable thing for me. So. But a lot of people who resonate same like me and know say how oh, the spirit the physical realm feel fucked up. Just get on the spiritual man and you know, you gotta realize your wonders up man, you gotta realize you feel more peaceful because you know, if you don't listen to your spiritual calling that's what causes depression. <laughs> your soul wants to do something else with the avatar now have to do. You know, the soul and the avatar now in a in a conflict that cause depression. You get me I say so one love the join YouTube channel that was about the spirit element. Big up, one love.